G'day and welcome to the channel. And on this little video, we're gonna talk about how we go about fitting a MyPlace tablet to the wall. If your tablet has stopped working or you're looking to upgrade it, you might have be moving from an eZone to a MyPlace. With. So the first thing you want to do when you're wanting to take, take the tablet off the wall is we just don't pull it straight off the wall. You'll see, if we go up nice and close here, on our touch panel, they've got little um, clips or uh, mounts where we're going to be mounting the, on the back of this. Well, this is called a puck, and this, this, this is where your cable connects in, which is the RJ45 cable. In there, we're going to be, so we're going to disconnect the cable, we're going to take the touch panel, we're going to turn the touch panel to a 45 degree angle. Then we're taking the touch panel off the wall, and then we're going to remove the Cat5 cable. One of the things that you need to be mindful of is quite often the touch panel will fail for little things like having power switches or light switches in line with the, or near the, the Cat5 cable. So when you're installing your Cat5 cable, you'll notice that my wall controller is actually not centered to the light switch. I'd love it to be, but unfortunately the power that is induced from the from the 240 volt cable needs uh, it actually interferes with the tablet and causes quite a few problems with the tablet so what we find is we need to have the uh, blue cable or cat5 cable or the communication cable to your touch panel needs to be more than or Vanity recommend more than 250 mil from the from the um, from those 240 volt cables. So in this example, I've got my cable running down over on this side, away from the light switch here down at the bottom. You'll see, uh, or just on the wall. So I've, I've actually run my cable down over here on this side and come across. Now I've still kept it the minimum distance away So once you've got your tablet, first what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take your Cat5 cable, click it back into the, into the panel, and then we're going to work out, you'll notice that sometimes there's actually buttons on the, on the tablet, we've got to work out which way, which orientation you want to have those buttons put, so when you're fitting it back onto the wall, so that you can actually make sure that it, um, so you, you can easily access those buttons. So if you put it the wrong way, then obviously the buttons will be at the bottom. Having the buttons at the top just makes it a bit easier. What are those buttons? Those, so there's three buttons effectively. There's uh, one small one and two large one on this panel for this example. The large one is an up and down volume, and then the other one is the power button. So if you'll see here, we've got the touch panels now turning on and lining up. It's got the advantage here, advantage here square. The advantage here square, often there's, there's different, uh, on the touch panel, sometimes it goes through a couple of different things um, and may get stuck or hooked on a couple of steps. One might be on the Android, it just shows the Android across the screen. Another might show just that advantage here, I kind of deem it the advantage here square of death. Um, if it gets stuck on that, often that means the tablet is not able to be uh, get past in the startup process of the of the Android panel or the Android software. And now at the moment we're seeing it starting to light up. It's going through and doing all the startup procedures, uh, firing up all the back end apps. Now it's really important that you you um, update all the apps. We've got a video on all the different apps that you need to update and keep up to date. Um, critical that they are because otherwise what happens is much like your phone eventually when you get the software it gets too far away from each other for the, then what happens between your phone and the tablet eventually they'll stop uh, having connect, uh, connectivity and then you will say oh but my app doesn't work on my phone anymore why is that not working often we find that the tablet just needs to be updated so we'll go through and show you how to do that in our videos and we'll put a, a link in the bio below so that you can follow down to that. Now, now we've got our tablet now on the wall. Often the biggest problem you've got is you've got to go through and reprogram it. Now, not so bad if it's just air conditioning or just the my, play, uh, my, uh, my Air system, but in my application here that I'm showing you, we've actually got my lights 
um, and the My Place app on the on the here as well. So you know, in this home there is four bedrooms, two living, above bathrooms and laundries and all that sort of stuff. They all got lights. So and then there's outside, there's some outside lights as well. There's garage doors and gates and all that sort of thing. So the biggest problem you're going to have is the where you go to the screen. It's not going to be populated as it was before with all the names and stuff like that. But there is a little hack. Let me just show you how to do this, and it'll just, it's going to save you a lot of headaches. Um, even if you really needed to, um, on some of the earlier control boxes, uh, the, the wall sensors are what they call dip switch style. So where they have the dip switches on them, you can actually just, you just go to this numbers one to 10, that, that actually shows you what zone that is and, that for, and then what room it is. You just walk into the room, for example, lounge room, it might be zone one, for example, then you go, all right, lounge. But the later models, they were actually, the wall sensors were actually dipped, uh, uh, press button. So unless the, the installer had done the right thing and it actually wrote down the zone name and zone number, then you're gonna find it really hard to rather work out what zone they were, unless you've got a great memory. All right, so we now have got our tablet now on the wall. As you can see, there is no names to the zones. The lights, the light schedule is not set up um, in any order or named. Um, likewise with the My Place page as well. What we need to do next is actually go about setting up all the different, um, or resetting the uh, names and the different um, settings that you had originally on the system. So what we recommend doing is you can go to your phone. So it's seeing the same thing on your phone. We want to, want to go into our setup menu. We want to go into options. And then down the very bottom, uh, there is the option to do backup. So obviously the, this, on this example, we got, see here we got data backup. We go manage. And what we want to do is we want to go through and find the correct um, data set. So I've, I've, on this, on my phone, I've got several different devices connected to this, this uh, telephone. And so we want to go find the correct one. If you've only got one system, originally it's connected to your phone, it's going to be a lot simpler. You just go back to a time and place where the data was the most accurate. I'm going to go to eight days ago. That has shows all the the lights and in, in the my place and the uh, my uh, zoning coordination. Um, what we do, we go into restore. Then we go into options on our tablet. We scroll down to the bottom, and we want to go restore. Just confirming restore on our on the phone, sorry, you can do it on a tablet first, then go to your phone. Now you can see it has pulled up that data. You can see it all sitting there. We push restore. Yes, we want to restore it. And now, if we go into the, now we can see the names populating and all the different rooms as we had it for all the lights, and the same for the My Place screen. All the different options are now engaged and back up and running and so now we've been able to reset the screen we are able to ensure this way we're able to ensure that you get a fast changeover of your touch panel without any major works need to be done you don't have to go through and try and recalibrate which light switches work or which wall centers go to where renaming all the zones it can all be pulled down from the data from your phone um, it's a really good function for Advantage here. It made a really big game changer when it came to, you know, when you need to change a tablet. So if you want to look, if you need a tablet, feel free to go to our store at uh, www.controlclimatehub.com.au and we're more than happy to help you. There's a number of different tablet options there. Uh, if you've got a system that doesn't have, if you've got a My Place system or My Air system, that doesn't have any of the My Lights or My Place functions on it, 
Then there was e-zone screens there that are that you can off we can offer you and support you with. Or if you have multiple units, so multiple my places or my connections to the one tablet, then the my place screen is the best option for you.